Welcome back to Tales of Iron. Uh, I felt like that last session, you know, it had to end at a certain time, but I kind of wanted to defeat, uh, what were they called? The Bog Brothers? I wanted to defeat the Bog Brothers uh, before we went any further, just because, I don't know, uh, it just feels like the game hasn't really started until I've freed all of my support staff, all of my brothers. And so I assume they're not far away. So we're just going to do a hopefully quick session uh, to deal with those guys. Of course... I'm probably gonna suck at combat. Their leader, Lanzalut, had never been bested in battle. He had a lance as lethal as it was legend. But he also had the only key. All right, what are you gonna do? Oh crap, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha, die, die, die. Oh gosh, okay. Yeah. Poked in the butt. Poked in the butt. All right. Oh, crap. Yes. Oh, just barely got that in time. I'm really, really worried that I'm going to be just, that I've completely forgotten how to play this game. It's only been basically since this morning. That might be enough to ruin everything, though. It's really easy to lose track of a game like this. Forget what the signals are you're supposed to recognize. Poke in the butt. Oh, crap. Oh, dang it. Drink, 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 drink. No, no. Oh, oh okay. That was a poor choice. Poke, 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 poke. Oh, oh, get away, get away. All right. Drink, 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 drink. Oh, nope. There we go. Poke, poke. Oh, oh nope. Poke, 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 poke. No! Oh, oh, I did that wrong. Crap. Poke, poke, poke. Ah, there we go. Oh, he's calling for help. He's calling for help. He's in the background again. This and this. Oh gosh, come on. I would really like everyone to just stop dodging around so much, thank you. Yes. Death to all you tiny frogs. Oh speared. I knocked all your armor off, jerk. Oh wait, what you turned into some kind of psycho? What are you doing? He's like, witness me! Um, oh, that's a nice little way to show where he's coming down. Like, leaves coming out of the trees. Oh, crap! There we go. Oh, I gotta poke your butt. I gotta poke your butt. Poke that butt. Oh, come on. I can't even hit him. What are your other moves? Come on. Give me some more moves. There we go. Poke, poke, poke! Right stick! The Bog Brothers clan were finally destroyed. Ha ha! And Reggie knew they would not be the last. Nice! Wow! So, here's a mark of a really good brawler. I was miserable at this combat for most of last session. But over time, it trained me to be able to handle a boss battle like that kind of without a lot of mistakes. That's actually, I mean, you know, it's hard to make something that can be that hard without also just being really naturally frustrating. And then, yeah, let's equip a new lance. Sure. So I could, I know I need to go back and rescue my brother, but I just wanted to peek over here and see... Now that seems like a no going back type situation, so let's not do that. Now, can I? Oh, I can break containers. <gasps> I didn't know I could break containers in this game. The most important feature in any brawler is the ability to break containers. How many containers have I missed? There have probably been so many containers I could have broken. So, Jedi Psych Tricks points out that um, taking a break 
uh, between the last session I played this and, and this one might have actually helped me consolidate the learning in my head. That like in the moment when I was learning it, it wasn't really settling very, very, <laughs> very well in my brain. But uh, now that I've actually taken a break, it made the learning work better. I trust Jedi Sectrix about this. She's the expert. Okay, so something about the Crimson Keep. The Bog Keep. brothers were dead, and their stench would soon wash away. His brother could go home safe, and the young king would too, after making sure the roads were clear of frog scum. Frog scum. All the characters in this are so racist. Okay, so I've already got that on. I, I think everything here that's worthwhile I've already put on, so I don't. I'm just. I'm just clearing badges at this point. I kind of liked my equipment as I got it. However, there's some something. I guess at some point maybe I'll get a bow and arrow because I keep collecting what look like arrows. Okay, that's a worse one-handed weapon, so I'll just take it, but not grab it right now. I'll put it in my hand. <laughs> so, earlier Zardathian was... So I, I just streamed with my son, and... Uh, ooh, yes, let's equip that immediately. Um, Zernathium is uh, referring to my son's screeching voice as, wow, what a way to wake up. Uh, he, apparently, he um, th that would make the best uh, alarm clock. Yeah, it's, Milo does actually wake us up fairly often. Lately, I've mostly been... Uh, Reggie oh. would need more than a sword on the road now, hmm. the ranger told him. He offered the king his best bow, a gift from his guild. Why? Okay. So is it auto-aimed? Oh gosh, okay. Alright, can I pick up the arrows again? No, but I can get bug juice out of them. Oh, and arrows. I get arrows, too. The ranger's too. best bow was little more than rotten twig and frayed string. But Reggie was grateful that he hadn't been offered the other one. The other what? I'm not sure what that meant. But we should definitely drink some bug juice. Actually, we should probably backtrack and recharge our bug, ju our bug juice. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, Jedi Psychtrix is going to... Uh, inform one of her kids that uh, that I finally got a bow and arrow because they've been complaining that it was so unfair that the enemies got bows and arrows and I didn't get one. So, okay, so that's what the Y button is for. I had assumed originally that the Y button was going to be blocked because the uh, the sparks telling me about an incoming range, that, uh, sorry, an incoming attack that needed to be blocked were yellow, and yellow is the color of the Y button, but. Nope, yellow is ranged attacks, which makes sense. Anyway, yeah, so I was, I was saying that, that Milo does fairly frequently wake us up with the sound of his voice. Usually he doesn't actually, though, he doesn't, like, you, you make a lot of noise. Usually what actually happens is he jumps in the bed with us and uh, wrestles with us, and that's how he wakes us up, which is, you know, a different kind of disruption. Hello, friend. Well... It's so interesting. I really feel like I'm making a tangible difference to these people. It's kind of weird, actually. Like, that this silly little rat game is actually doing a better job than a lot of other games I've played at making me feel like, you know, the work that I'm doing, going out there fighting these monsters and things like that, making me feel like I'm actually accomplishing something worthwhile. Wait, so where am I actually trying to get? Oh, I missed it. Okay, let's go back. Maybe I'm supposed to just check the job board? No, this is a travel board. Oh, is this still Longtail Village? Okay, I'm not at the Crimson Fort yet. I need to go back to the Crimson Fort. Got it. Uh, Senior Sausage wants to know if I've played the Sims games before. Uh, yeah, when 
back when each of them was new, I played the heck out of them. Uh, they've been on Sims 4 for a long time now, and there have been so many expansions, it's actually kind of intimidating to get into it now. So, But my, my daughters are very into The Sims. Hello. With the path to Longtail Village free of frogs, the builders could start repairs on the Crimson Fort's bridge. That way? Thanks. So yeah, I'm glad to hear. So Director Cosmic. With the paths oh. left unguarded, grubs had crawled to the surface. Well, yikes! The builders couldn't work while they're there. Crap! I was just not even prepared for there to be enemies over here. Oh crap, I keep forgetting how to block. Okay, apparently my uh, attempts to learn lessons did not work. So yeah, so ranged attacks are useful against these guys, but luckily they give them these downward attacks so that I can defeat them in melee. The builders could start their repairs in safety. The Crimson Fort would soon be able to welcome visitors again. All right, so I got some of my arrows back. Anyway, uh, Director Cosmic was saying earlier that uh, my series on um, Chernobylite was making me want to play that game. And Jedi Psychtrick says that actually this session right now is making me want to get uh, uh, Tales of Iron. Though, man, like... Because I've been struggling so much, it's like, th this is a very well put together game, but it's like, I, I would always, I think, I feel like I need to be cautious to advise people whether or not to get it, because you have to really be into this kind of brawler, I think, to, uh, to connect with, with how it plays. If, if you don't like reacting to, uh, you know, to, with, uh, to different enemy sort of signals with different kinds of defenses, if that's not the type of brawler you're into... This is not the type of game you're going to be into. It is very much... I mean, it's like the... Kind of the perfect example of that kind of game. So am I going to sit in here? Nice! I'm the king! Oh, they've captured the smith. And the... The weird guy captured him too. Nobody knows where they are. His brother Chef was glad to be home, but the smith was still missing. The chef believed he might have also been captured. Maybe the elder knew where. And where is the elder? All the way back there. Okay. Well, I'm glad I came all the way in here to talk to you all. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -doop -doop. Scamper, 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 scamper. The scampering animations in this are just amazing. Wait a minute. Anything on this? What is this? Oh, it's just a travel board? Okay. Doop a doop a doop. Doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop. So can I go further? Let's see. Oh no, it was sending me to the travel board. I get it. I kept thinking, oh, if I go far enough to the right. I'm going to meet the Elder, but no, the Elder is in the other map, and it was sending me to the travel board so that I could go to the other map. i got to get used to that idea. That's how this game works. Because it's got a lot of almost Metroidvania-ish elements to it, like the way that the map is shaped and stuff. So I get this... The village had already oh. started repairs. It would soon be as if the frogs had never come. Like, I just have this intuition that I'm supposed to just get everywhere on foot, because that's how Metroidvania games work. And this is not really a Metroidvania game. This is a different kind of game. But it's got enough, like, similarities that it sort of trips my sense in my head that that's how it's supposed to be. Excuse me, everyone. I'm going to rob your village now. Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome the new boss. Same as the old boss. The guard captain, who had recovered, had spread word of the king's rescue of the elders. To show their gratitude... The villagers would help rebuild the rat fort. Oh, cool. I just realized, are these guys... 
I'm a rat. Are these guys like moles or something? They look a little different from me. I feel like these guys might be moles. I haven't saved in a while. Let's save. Okay, so wait, we've got a job board? The elder had started placing quests on the village notice board. Getting the old rat to part with some coin was no bad idea, considering the funds needed to rebuild the Crimson Fort. All right, so you can... The grub infestation had spread. The farm basement was overrun. The farmer should be able to squeeze bug juice in peace. Okay, so this is where the elders live? Should probably top up my bug juice. And rob them blind. I love how this is a, a really good representation of medieval society. Because I can just come in and take whatever I want. Because I've got, you know, the best sword. Uh, where is the smith? I don't know. Is he just making a creaking rocking chair sound? Some kind of stockade. Not so lucky this time. The elder hadn't seen the frogs with the smith. But maybe the ever vigilant rangers had seen where the frogs had gone. Young Robin had been headed to the ranger's lodge. Maybe Reggie could ask there. All right. So that is to the east. Far to the east. Okay, so there's a farmer over here. I think that his basement is where I have a side quest. And then all the way over there is where I'm headed to go to the rangers. So let's see. There's something over here, too. All right, we've got lots of stuff to do. Let's head to the right. Run to the right! The classic video game thing that you do. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Grubs! Windmill! Rotting corpses always bring pests. Gross. If the grubs get beyond the farm, they'd be everywhere soon. Huh? just always seems inadequate when you're talking about actual fight fighting with like spears and lances but when you're this tiny and adorable it actually feels completely appropriate Not a single hit landed. Nice. Oh, yes. Give me your sweet bodily fluids. Give me your juices. No actual juices. I guess my, my juice is full. It's fine. I could top up my bug juice, except, yeah, it, I've already got plenty. Okay, so we're back here again. How close are we to the farm? Oh, right. Oh, it's right next door. Okay. And nothing special in here. Okay, let's go on. Oh, wait a minute. Before I get in any more fights, let's save. Jedi Sectrix, are you going to clip me saying, uh, give me your sweet bodily fluids? <laughs> Honestly, it would be irresponsible not to. Oh, 
Haha, -ha, I have murdered your babies. Now I will poke you free of your bodily fluids. I love that all of the characters in this world have different bodily fluids. Like, oh crap! I used the wrong, the wrong defense there. But yeah, it's like, the, oh crap! Oh no, no! Ah! I did it all wrong. Okay. Anyway, like rats bleed red, frogs bleed green, bugs bleed yellow, and then you're drinking yellow juice, like. This thing really has sort of a unified thing. And, and there's almost like a rock, paper, shotgun, not rock, paper, shotgun, rock, paper, um, scissors thing going, rock, paper, shotgun. I do love that, uh, that magazine, that online magazine, but. Like a rock, paper, scissors thing where it's like, you know, rats defeat frogs, insects feed on frog bodies. Oh crap, there we go. Or like, frogs attack rats. Bugs, bugs eat frog bodies. And then rats drink bug juice. Nom 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 delicioso. Oh, a little bit more left over here. <laughs> Director Cosmic is asking me to stop saying the phrase bodily fluids. I don't understand. What's what's causing problems for you here? Hello, I am the plant master. The farmer had fled his grub infested basement in terror. He was sure they would destroy his bug-juicing machine before long. Reggie assured the farmer he would not let that happen. Oh yeah, we're gonna defeat the heck out of some bugs. Okay, so that little bug died real easy. Makes me wonder if they're gonna start swarming me. It looks like during their entrances, they're immune to damage. Is that it? Gotta loot the bodies to be sure. Hmm. Let me gnaw on a few more body parts. Here we go. Okay, so this is better weight, less good defense. So we're gonna store that helmet. Have we done it? Is this, is this defeat for the bugs? Hello. Thumbs up. Good job, Reggie. Oh, so this is better weight and better defense. Absolutely. Um, worse attack, but much better weight. Let's store the that. The grubs were gone. The farmer could now make the best freshly squeezed bug juice in all raptum. <laughs> Reggie liked it with bits. Reggie liked it with bits? <laughs> I can't handle orange juice with pulp, and so that was the point where this game got disgusting for me. Not all of the parts were like hacking apart bu bugs, squeezing their juice out and drinking it to improve my health. Uh, it's when they started saying there were bits in it. That's just... Bug pulp is too much for me. Alright, so should I just jump off this? Whee. This away! Getting to Ranger territory wouldn't be an easy journey. The sewers. 
His royal ancestors had lifted rats from such places. No rat had dwelt here for years. Interesting. Had lifted rats. Is this post up? Is this like. Is this like Timberborn? Is this like a post human? It's not like a like not it's not like a fantasy world that has always been populated by rodents. This is like a post human world. Cause yeah, you can look at the size of the bricks here. Okay, so to the right I think is where I need to go, but kinda tempted. Yeah, let's see what happens if I go left. Probably not much. It's probably closed off or something. Nope! Dang it. You know, one of the hardest things in video games generally is figure out a good way to get characters to go down a ladder. There's so many bad ways to do it. Wow, how much further can I go down here? Um, okay, I'm over here now, but I don't see anything to do. So let's head back. Actually, this whole place seems like a place I don't want to fall down into. So let's not go this way if we can help it. Now, it might be that the way is going to be blocked the other direction. I'm going to have to go this way. But I'm hoping not. I'm hoping I can just... Notice that they've uh, added barrels of arrows among the things that I can sort of scavenge at these resupply points. Uh oh, somebody's making a uh, request for my attention. Let me quickly check and see what this is about. All right, my uh, my daughter is going to need me to give her a ride real soon, so I said, let me just get to the next section. I'll go talk to the rangers and then maybe we will come back later after I've delivered her to her friend's house. Hello. Whoa. So these guys who have area attacks at random positions that have nothing to do with where I'm standing are my favorite because they're the easiest to avoid. Like I just don't even need to panic. It often has nothing to do with where I am. All right, keep going. Whee! But do I want to go up or down? Looks like I'm trying to go up. So, well, wow, these sewers are going to be a place to explore later on, I can tell. There's a lot here. Wait, can I... Oh, look at this! I love how they didn't even need to tell me that that was a thing. They just made it look like other ladders, and I was good to go. Though the fact that I didn't catch on to it with the very first jump could have been a deterrent. Okay, so we're going up still. Yep, this looks right. Wink. The ranger needed help. Reggie hoped his bow would last the fight. But they're hitting me. How are they hitting me? I think I miscalculated some of what was going on in that fight. They keep murdering people just as I arrived to try to help them. Okay, yeah, so I keep taking damage when I don't expect to. I think I need to be a little more careful with those guys' dodgy attacks. Okay, so we need a key to this place. I think I've got some blue stuff. So what do the blue sparks mean? Oh, it means something fancier than usual. Okay, so this is a hammer that's better than my current weapon. So where do I need to go? Okay, I need to go upstairs, but he's saying that I need... 
I need some kind of key? Oh no, maybe I've got the key. Alright, let's go and see what's going on in here. Hello. The smith! You know, him? Yep, I know where the smith is. He was carted off by frogs. To the tower. You need an axe. Up there. The head ranger saw the smith taken to the tower by the foul Swamp Slayer clan. But the frogs had barricaded the path. Only a heavy two-handed axe would shatter it. Okay, so this is a new type of weapon for me. Oh, wait a minute. I can switch weapon types between two-handed and one-handed. But, okay, but what about my spear? Okay, so just my one bow shows up here. I've only got the one. Okay, so si okay, so single-handed is an entire category of weapons that includes swords, axon, and spearoy. Um, <laughs> it's apparently my plural for spear. I don't know what's going on. Um, sorry, I have to clear all the badges. There can be no badges. No badges. Okay, and so I actually go. Right for two-handed, left for one-handed. Okay, cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what this is like in combat. So where am I headed now? I'm headed far to the east, probably through some kind of massive combat. Oh, and this is some kind of purple place. It's this. No side quests. All right, let's get out of here, but then let's find ourselves a bench. Is there a bench? Here's a bench. Let's sit down on this bench because I do need to go take my daughter someplace. So, I love this game. I like. I keep thinking I'm going to get to a point where I'm like, okay, I guess I've seen enough of this game. Let's quit, which I do with like almost every game that I play. I So far, two sessions in, it's okay. I still like it. So, let's see how it goes. Um, in the meantime, if you want to subscribe to my channel... I'll put a little button right there, as usual. If I keep playing Tales of Iron, which is seeming weirdly likely, there'll be another video right there. Um, so, hope you'll join me.